Listen to these explosive cracks. Good. Good. Bring this down. Let it all go. Now you just heard those crispy cracks. You wanna hang around for the rest of today's video. We've got an action-packed video from some of your favorite chiropractors. We post every single day. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss anything. Let's get into it. Up next, we have Dr. Brent Binder. All right, so looking at the feet first, there's no internal external rotation. Arms are looking stiff. Let me just see, give me like a nice brisk walk, <laughs> briskly walk. Arches, uh, uh, we are flattened on this left arch and pronated on the left, but it's slightly, I couldn't see it during the walk. It's only one dimple on the SI joint. That's crazy. There's usually two. Okay, any tenderness here? Tender? Discomfort? No. Good. I'm going to turn to the right. Good. Good. Open. Close. Open, close. Okay. okay, I'm gonna slide up to the bottom. We're slightly lower on the right, which means this is posterior and inferior like that. And then looking from the top, possible external, so possible PIEX on the right ilium like this. Or... Okay, any pain, discomfort when I push the air? Sink in. Good. There it is. Good. Following your breath. No little push like that, okay? Okay. It's already moving. Do that again. In and out. Shoulders sinking. Oh my god. Just relax. Good. Deep breathing in through your nose. Good. Okay, this one's a little bit different. This time we're gonna push at the top of the in-breath, so you're gonna take a deep breath in and then we push, okay? Okay. Okay, deep breath in, far as you can go. And out, let your back relax. Good, good. Good, down, down. Relax, all the way down, good. Okay, left, down, right, down. Okay. Right, short, stay short. Okay, gentle breathing in through your nose and out. Good, gotcha, right there. Good. Good. Good, hip coming down. Good, another breath. And out. Good, bring this down. Lay your back. <laughs> almost louder. Breathing, good. Good, nice, nice soft breath. Good, one more. Good. Oh, my God, it feels so weird. Just like that. Good, let it all go. That wasn't as bad as that. So I got the one at the very bottom. I think that's all of it. Let's just let's, let this sink here. This should have been all of it. First of all, let's talk about why you have a fear when someone touches you. I don't have a fear. I just don't like feet. Super light. Not bad, right? Well, I used to do this to my sister because it would tweak her. Let your foot relax. Good job. One more. Let this relax. Start with the...
Is this tender? This feels like it would be tender. Yeah. It's 12.45 now. Like he says, I don't really eat much in the mornings. Mm -hmm. Nice deep belly breathing. <laughs> Come on, let me see it. Put it in a sleeping on. It's gonna do the opposite. All right, so um, basically, I'm just gonna feel your spine on the exhale, just like the other ones. You're breathing, just let your shoulders and hips sink in here. Good. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> so it's not as tight. Hard as you can. Good. Mine cracked. That's it. How was your first chiropractic adjustment? <laughs> Scary, but not as bad as I thought it would be. Yeah, it was good. But I feel so much more like not as tense. Next up, we have Dr. Scott Mitchell and Dr. Matt Delgado. All right. Well, let's start with the low back adjustment on that left hip bone. Let's have you on your side facing me this way, please, like you're sleeping. So after an injury, scar tissue always forms and it's so important that we realign things just like this, like you talked about, so the tissues can heal correctly. Bend that top leg, we'll keep that bottom one straight, good. And then I'm gonna cross your arms here. And roll you toward me, a little push at the end there. Soften your body. Good. All right. Also good. And let's have you go face down one more time, please. So moved really nice. So it was in her uh, advantage being in here sooner rather than later. And now that the legs are even, that's what we want. And when we bring them up here, we got that same thing. We're even. And then that motion. Yeah, it feels better, it doesn't feel tender. Yeah, and that's the best thing there. So here through the mid-back, and we're gonna be light here, this area, and as I saw in the x-ray, it was uh, one of the areas that was impacted the most. So we've been really light and starting really light with it before we go into anything like what we just did in the low back. So you're gonna feel the table pop up from underneath you, Rachel. Mm -hmm and then it's gonna fall down. Good. So with the drop table, is what this is called, it's just using gravity to assist with the adjustment. We're not gonna hear a cracking or a popping, but really when we restore that motion to the joint, we restore that signal from the brain to the body, not only impacting the way that this feels, but also the way the body functions. There we go. Yeah, and then right there. If we could rename this spot, this would be the tech spot. Because when we look down, that's what gets us the most. Right there. I'm gonna roll your head to this side. A little push there. Good. And then let's have you sit up, please. And we're gonna do this. So seen that motion earlier, but I'm gonna yeah. really feel the same motion. And up top here on the right side, which are right there, yeah, is where, what does it feel like to you when I'm uh, putting my finger in there? Tenderness, like mm -hmm. there's like tension that I feel like it needs like massaged out. And it's not moving also. Right. And this is where so many people will try to pop their own neck to release the pressure that's there. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use this and a correction on the exact bone and this is the atlas that we're moving the top bone right there it's right underneath here and it's very light and this is great for people that are afraid of a neck adjustment or that don't like a popping or cracking that's why we have light techniques in there as long as I made that correction just right the muscle tone will immediately change and it has and that motion when we come back to it is so much better. So what's the difference there on your end from your perspective? <laughs> um, it almost feels like a, I don't know, um, like a 
rubber band or something like um like releasing like it was being pulled really far and then now it's just like the tension is eased. and that's a perfect way to put it you're gonna be checking your feet just being so into athletics so let's have you lie on your back for me please and have you ever had any foot injuries uh yeah you see that big scar yeah <laughs> Um, so they didn't want to stitch it because it would since I was learning how to walk It would affect the way that I walked if the skin was healing like stitched that way or sutured So they just came by and they wrapped it every morning But it is like I have to moisturize it multiple times a day or else it will like crack because it's so and How long it was at this that was the same accident. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yep okay. And did they do anything uh, with the foot as far as inserting any hardware into it? Nope. Okay. And is it sensitive out here on the side to uh, touch? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Like, well, I, have, I have very, very ticklish feet okay. <laughs> as a whole. Okay. But yes, it, that scar tissue is sensitive. Okay. So I'm going to be really light around it and not do anything too close to it that'll agitate it, okay? Yeah, all of this. So right there though, you feel how oh, yeah. tense that is under your foot? Yeah. And that's where most people get cramps also. And what's happening is this. Yeah has dropped down. There's actually three arches of the foot. We only think of the foot as being one arch, but there's three arches of the foot. And when the bones are out of position and stop moving, it influences or impacts the arches. So a lot of times, once we start working with feet, even people redevelop the arch. But yeah, right there. Yeah, and that's, I definitely feel that. Yeah, and again with this, I, I like to start light and then go in with more pressure. So I'm gonna use a similar instrument where you felt the tap on your neck it's slightly different, but you're going to feel it right here where my thumb is on your foot. Okay. Does not. It does not move up there, but then behind that, it needs to come down actually on the outside right there. I'm going to pull your foot slightly toward me. Good. And depending on a joint, if it's been through a lot of trauma, we're not going to hear like a loud pop to it. That's not the goal here, even though YouTube might disagree. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay though. They'll forgive us. Okay, good. And then we're gonna bring the foot into this position, roll it back, and then add that motion in. And then under the big toe also, there's a ton of pressure right there. Yeah. So heels especially, when you wear heels, it puts so much pressure on this joint we call it the first metatarsal, and that's where a lot of times bunions will come from, or just pain right there. Not for you. Yeah. And then we're going to be on a couple more of these on the top. I'm on the metatarsals right now for the nerds on YouTube that are wondering, but it's okay. I'm a nerd too. We get some comments from people saying, you shouldn't call us nerds. I say, come on, but I'm a nerd too. <laughs> there we go. And then on this foot, Rachel, it feels a lot different. Okay. So I'm gonna do more by hand actually on this foot. There. Yeah. And you feel the difference how it moves yeah. even? It is a lot more flexible, exactly. But slow and steady wins the race, so we can't add all that motion back into your right foot in one day. Okay. And same with your spine. As we add flexibility and motion into your spine and the areas that are stuck, we can't do it all in one day. Yeah, and same in the middle of the foot here. It's really stuck. There we go. But that actually moved. Okay. And then the heel. There, same as that. And I'm going to be under the big toe again, but with the instrument, because that one tends to not feel so great. Good. And then we got a couple more. The metatarsals. Again, the midfoot. And I'm saying some names because we're on camera for people that might want to know Rachel, but these all have funny names, but as yeah. long as the only thing that matters is that we get them moving. <laughs> and we are. <laughs> there, and that's good too. Okay, I want to come back to this arch and we're gonna do one more small thing to it and then we'll have you walk here. Okay, perfect. If we could have you just stand up even, and we're gonna have you take a few steps around the room here. Let me see how that feels, if that feels any different walking on your feet. Yeah. If you made it to the end of the video, guys and girls, thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more.